Intense car battles, healthcare fails, and that's probably not compatible with life. Holy smokes, today we're headed to Gotham's dark underworld, breaking down and reacting to all of the wild medical scenes and gritty injuries from the new HBO show, The Penguin. Let's dive right in. Could see is this guy grabbing at his left eye so you would assume is punctured straight through the eyeball bad super bad you have fluid within the eye itself as that starts to leak out you increase the risk of getting infection you also compromise the retina which is the back part of the eye where there's the rods and the cones having to do with how we see <laughs> Oh man, come on, school bus driver. Bus driver. Pedestrian versus vehicle. You can have simple fracture, abrasion versus death, unfortunately, typically due to either significant blood trauma to your chest or to your cranium, AKA your brain and your skull. Yes. Not you. Yes. Yes. Okay. No, I what the? What? what? GSW to the head probably is going to cause significant damage that's not compatible with life. But there are instances where if it's not a specific direct hit to a certain part of the brain, you can still have the basic mechanisms of life in the sense of your autonomic nervous system is still intact. I don't know why Penguin is sitting naked in a chair, but I will talk about cold exposure. If somebody comes into the emergency department for a trauma activation, unfortunately they have to be stripped of all their clothes, the trauma bays at the hospital are actually increased in temperature to make sure that the patient who we have to expose does not go into hypothermia. Oh, we're seeing car to car shooting here. Car show up to the hospital, I'll see with bullets in it. And I showed up to work before where the car is out front, there's bullet holes in it and there's caution tape around because the police has already like blocked it off. All I see is guns going off left and right and people just dropping like flies. Typically it doesn't happen that way. Oh, injuries happened quickly. So what would cause that? Direct hits to the head or to the body that actually hits the heart or the aorta, the major big blood vessel that comes off the heart that's carrying the oxygen rich blood. car accidents without wearing a seatbelt, you increase the risk of major blunt traumas. We see this all the time where somebody's not seatbelted in the car and they get tossed around in the vehicle or get thrown from the vehicle. So please make sure you wear your seatbelt. Oz is trying to move forward. We see some blood on his head. It could be his own blood or other individuals. But a lot of times the face, if it gets hit, bleeds a lot. Closing the face, we end up using sutures or glue. We do not use staples. Oh, it's like, it's sad. oh that's the guy that got shot in the previous scene. Didn't succumb to the injury. Oh. Oh, it takes a knife to probably the heart area or the aorta. It's hard to see. You also have to think like, you have to go through the freaking sternum. You can go sub xiphoid, so underneath, and go and hit the heart if your blade is long enough. We'll do this as a procedure to get blood out of somebody's heart if they have a pericardial effusion. <laughs> shaking around and moving it so he's creating a hole, which then makes it a lot harder for the body to reseal itself. So like you say, you had a paper cut, because it's such a perfect cut, if you just put pressure on it, it will seal itself back up pretty easily and be fine. That's why people twist and rip twist it. when it comes to a knife. Holy smokes. How quick could somebody die from this injury? Could be pretty fast. Could take 30 seconds maybe to 45 seconds to a minute, that sort of thing. So it's kind of appropriate timing. Oh. Oh no, fire injuries.
We see this often in the emergency department, but we don't see this type of burn very often. Somebody, if they survive these injuries, need to be at a burn center. Usually there's only one burn center in every major city. They don't have them in every town. All that fire is now being breathed in into your nose, into your throat, and it's causing it to melt as well as cause significant pain and taking away the oxygen so you can't breathe. Oh, both of them. The initial pain, first and second degree burns, because your nerve endings are still intact. Once the nerve endings are burned on the skin, you're not feeling any more pain, but then once it gets deeper, potentially can then start feeling pain again because those nerves are being re-exposed. Anytime that there is a burn near somebody's face, we look in their nose and their mouth, and we're looking for soot and singed hairs. And if we see that, we get very concerned that it got into the airway. And why do we get concerned? Because there's the potential of swelling and can close off somebody's airway. Oh, mushrooms, okay. There are good mushrooms out there. There are bad mushrooms out there. Bad ones meaning death cap, AKA Amanita phylloides. Then you have psychedelic mushrooms, healthy good mushrooms, lion's mane or cordyceps. These mushrooms are in my level up supplement that has to do with energy and focus. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely check that out at lifehappens.com or on Amazon. He's like staring at them as this event is happening. You can also see on the right side of his face, he's got multiple scars, pretty jagged and rough. So it could be due to blunt trauma, it could be due to a knife, but you'd think that they were more straight if it was a knife versus more blunt trauma to the face. <laughs> oh! What a little <laughs> well, that does that. Multiple gunshot wounds to the torso. Instantaneously, the person has passed away here. Could that happen again? Life goes on a little bit longer before you succumb with these type of injuries. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. A little sinister. Oops. Penetrating trauma to the heart can puncture holes into the heart. You're gonna leak blood. You have four chambers of the heart, right? Two atrium and two ventricles. And then it pools around into the mediastinum. And then as the blood pools around it, it compresses the heart down. So you're not able to actually pump and eventually the pump will stop. Penguin, I am a fan. So if you guys enjoyed Penguin, let me know. Let me know if you're into it, if you want to see more, if there's a season two. Also, check out my limited edition Dr. ER apparel, available now for a short time only. Once it's gone, it's gone. So grab yours before it's too late at shopdoctoreer.com. If you guys enjoyed watching this, definitely check out this playlist right here. And as always, do me a favor, subscribe, turn on your bell notification, and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching, and stay healthy, my friends.